All right, guys, so we have the Empire 6 marker here. I'm going to show you in this video how the bolt system comes out of the marker and how to service your bolt system. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the gun up on the back of the marker here. We're going to lift up on the rear cap, and then we'll do about an eighth of a turn, turn there uh, clockwise. That'll get the bolt to come out the back, and then we can pull this thing out, and that'll give us our bolt assembly. I'm going to set the gun to the side. So I can show you more specific parts of uh, the bolt. So the bolt itself, we have the rear guide assembly, which I'll show you how to take that apart and service the poppet, which is inside of there. We have the bolt itself and the spring itself. Now the spring uh, on each side, on the sides of the spring here, one side is a little bit smaller than the other. So when you put this over, you can kind of feel there's some tension over the tip there. That will actually go on to, there's a small groove you can kind of see between the O-ring and the spring there. That'll click on, I don't know if you could hear that, but you can hear that the spring clicked on this way. If I take it and I flip it over, you can see there's no resistance going over the bolt tip there, and it does not click on. So you want to make sure that clicks on when you put it back together. So I'm going to set these apart, set these down here so I can show you. To get the poppet out, we will take the front of the bolt guide off. So we can grab it with our super strong hands here and turn. Sometimes you won't get it. Mine I was able to. Um, but I'm going to show you a trick here. So if this thing is super tight. You can take a smaller Allen wrench I have laid out here for you. You can actually go through. There are, let's see if we can show you. There's a couple holes here and that actually goes through the guides. You can put this Allen wrench straight through. That'll give you some leverage to turn this thing to break it loose. So now we can open up the guide. That'll give us the, the tip. I'm going to tap this on my hand. And that'll get me my pop it out and the back part of my um, bolt guide, rear, rear guide there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to get a clean microfiber and I'm actually going to wipe the tip of the pop it off. I'm going to wipe the whole thing down is what I'm really going to do. If I had a bunch of gunk and debris here, one thing I like to do with my guns is I'll take and kind of pinch this o-ring here, use my two fingers, pinch that together. You can kind of see this will pop the o-ring out and then use my thumb to roll that off. Keep my thumb in place, roll my other thumb around to get the o-ring off. What this allows you to do is to take your micro, put it in that groove there, and spin this thing around. That gets all the, the debris, if there happens to be debris and lubricant, out of the groove itself. In uh, this specific spot, part of the gun, typically you're not going to have, I'm also going to wipe the o-ring off too while we do this. Um, typically you're not going to have buildup there. So it's not usually going to be a problem, but I like to do it when I'm doing a good deep clean. And then I'll just take and put the O-ring back on. Um, in other parts of the gun, if if stuff builds up, if you get paint build up and anything like that, dirt debris, what happens is the uh, that 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 stuff consumes space in the groove, and that'll cause the O-ring to push out a little bit, creating extra drag and cause reliability issues. So I'm gonna wipe my pop it off. Take my rag. This thing's relatively clean, but I'll take my rag and wipe off the inside of the rear guide here just to clean out the surface that this thing seals on. Now I'm going to take, get a little Dow 33, put a nice coating on there. I'll start off with a thick amount and I'm going to take and spin this thing around. You can see I pretty generously lube this. So nice thin coating there. And then I'll do it on the tip also since this is an O-ring. That's one cool design feature they've done is they've changed in this uh, it's axe style bolt assembly. They've changed the uh, tip of the poppet from like a nylon seat to an o-ring. So next take make sure your springs in place. I'm going to push this back into place gently. Take my bolt tip and thread this back together. Doesn't have to be super tight but you do want to get it snug. Then I'm going to wipe the tip of the guide off. This is where that, this can help you if I pop these. I'm not going to pop all of them off. I'll just take one off to show you. But you can see that there can be, like there's a little bit of, this is like lube because this is a relatively new gun. But over time, debris can build up in those. So if you are changing our rings or anything, it is a good idea to just stick your micro in the, in the groove. Push down, like push towards the groove. Keep some tension and spin this. That'll get all the stuff out of that groove so helps make it so the o-rings 
don't have quite so much tension on the bolt sometimes. So now I'm going to take, put a little lube on the three of these O-rings. So I like to be pretty generous. Now you do want to get a little bit of grease on the back O-rings. These are what's called static O-rings, meaning they don't move, nothing moves on them. This basically when you push them in the gun, they're going to stay in that exact spot once the bolt's locked in. So they don't need a tremendous amount of lube. They just need a little bit so that they can slide smoothly into the body. So next I'm going to take my bolt and essentially you got two O-rings, you got your bolt tip and the bolt itself. I'm just wiping it down real quick. So we'll take off the tip here, squeeze together just like we would an O-ring. It'll roll right off. You can see in mine, I mean, this thing's probably got 15, 20,000 shots on it or so. There's a little bit of paint or uh, excuse me, it looks like lube buildup in the tip there. I'm just going to wipe it out. And same thing in this little groove here. I'll wipe that out, take my bolt tip, wipe it clean, get any dirt or debris out of there. And then I'm just going to take and use one finger to kind of hold it in place and pop this thing back on. Next, I'll take these two O-rings and I'm going to take these two out. Again, the guns are relatively new. So this really doesn't have much buildup or debris, but there's a little bit typically of just lube that's in there, but it's always better to just get everything nice and clean. So same thing, I take my rag, put it in there. You can see I got a good amount of, this looks like just lube, but sometimes dirt and debris will actually build up inside there, especially if you ever like drop your bolt or anything. Um, you can get crap inside there, so. Take, wipe the two O-rings off. Reinstall my O-rings. Slide it over, get into the groove. And then I'm gonna take, put a decent amount of lube, same thing on the two back things there. I'm just gonna put a wee bit on the tip, even though it's not necessarily super, doesn't need a lot, a little bit goes a long way. So take, slide my bolt over there. Now I'm gonna go on my spring. The spring's actually what returns the bolt to the rear position. So we're gonna take, we're gonna clean the spring. So I'm just gonna take in run my rag through this thing and anywhere where you can eliminate dirt and debris it's typically going to help increase the performance of your your marker so then i'm going to take slide my bolt or my spring back over and again you should feel a little resistance and you should hear it actually click into place so let me get this closer we can see it snapped on there so that's how we're going to do our bolt assembly there next we're going to put it back in the gun and there is a little uh kind of groove here, channel here, this will slide into. So I'm just gonna take the bolt, I'm gonna slide it into the gun, and see if we can show you here. And I wanna make sure this is lifted up, so that pin is up. Go in, eighth of a turn, lock down, and your bolt's reinstalled. And that's a great way to get your gun super clean. Um, the only other step I would do here also, is when I pull my bolt out and lube it, I'd wanna squeegee through the whole thing, just so I can get it nice and clean inside the, the breech of the gun too. But that is how you are going to service your bolt. Uh, I personally would recommend that you do it anywhere. I mean, you, doing it more often isn't necessarily going to hurt the gun. Um, but personally, I lube my paintball gun probably every 8 to 15 cases. I think I, since I've owned this thing, I've probably lubed it four or five times. A part of that's because I was showing people. So anyway, that's how you do that. Hope that's helpful. If you want to see other videos, just leave it in the comments here and we'll do our best to get it produced for you.